Hey folks, DC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15 and the Gifts of Caucuses. Look at all those busy fellows out there. <laughs> I've got uh, two of my tractors seeding and one is cultivating. So, and what we're up to is you can see our cash supply is pretty primo at the moment. Reason for that being, I've been selling this canola. And, uh, it makes a big difference. This stuff sells nice. About 48,000 a trailer load. And I've been selling it just around the corner at the railroad station. Oh, this tractor is loud. So let's head down there and offload this one. And then we're going to buy ourselves some beef. Yes, indeed. Time to get the cattles a going. So I had completely finished taking uh, all the corn silage off the field and I finished harvesting all the corn and uh, cultivated the th both fields and was just in the process I planted one I was just in the process of planting the other when I decided let's go here so I can show you guys I left it in the mod folder just so you'd know I decided to buy this. Now this came in one of the mod packs. Um, I'm thinking maybe Cat Fan because he's got another roll mass there. But I bought this. That was fine. I filled it. That was fine. I hooked it up. Drove it to the field. As soon as I hit Hire Worker, my keyboard locked out and I had to Alt Tab out of the game, um, which means then I had to spend the next day repeating the six hours or so I had already sunk into it. So that kind of sucked. So, word of warning, um, if you uh, want to pop that out of your mod pack so you don't end up hiring a worker with it, might do you good. Um, as well, I looked through the log and there was a couple of uh, Ursus C360 tractors. Um, let's have a look here. I actually have a little some there, little list. Oh yeah, uh, an Agrome Z211, the Autosan D47 KMDM, uh, the B Zone with the Dirtkus mod. Yeah, they were all showing, and uh, these are not like 110 errors where there was just simply not an English translation. No, these were actually um, incompatibility warnings. So. I did pull a bunch of stuff, and, uh, hopefully, oh, what? Very dirty car. Okay, the tractor's actually not washable, I don't think. So. Oh, well, I guess we gotta play by their rules. Now, I do have a carcer. So I guess we're going to go and quickly use them. Unbelievable. Why'd you bother letting me in here? <laughs> Maybe I wasn't too dirty to live in the wall. Right. Let's go back. Let's go. At least it's a nice close kick. Yeah, it's really, really nice to finally be showing a bit of a profit. I mean, selling the wheat did as well, too, but there was also, I was in the process of doing, you know, some equipment exchanges and getting things a little better set up, etc. So the money tended to drizzle out as quickly as it drizzled in. You know, you get sell a trailer full for 12000 and then spend $8,000 on fertilizer, and then sell a trailer for 12000 and spend 6,000 on fuel and <laughs> next time around it would be seeds and so yeah it went kind of quickly but since we have a bit of a stock of all of those this is actually going rather well well I mean this little setback and I don't know why it could be when I came back the last time I might have dragged it through my puddle 
So it's got to be the trailer. Like I said, I don't think the tractor actually gets dirty. But, let's say we do have a country. Treasure washer. There we go. Well, I guess the wheels get dirty on this tractor, don't they? Really? Yeah, I don't think the trailer gets dirty. Uh oh. Oh yeah, a little bit of mud in the working parts. Looking a little better, eh? Alright, perfect. I said I don't think this trailer will actually, uh, yeah, we're probably just going to blow the panels right off the side of it trying to pressure wash that thing. Alright. <laughs> Minor delay. Minor delay. Let's go. We just have to uh, watch that our two seating tractors don't crash into each other. Oh, I ended up as a second seater. I actually, uh, bought a local in-game machine. I just picked this guy up, a little cheap $9,000 Kvernland. So that's what the other track is running. So they're both running three meter seaters, but uh, with two of them going at it, what? Well, it shouldn't take us too terribly long. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're getting pretty close now. Back to the railroad station. So the cows already have straw in the barn. So let me pick some up. There was a weight laying down there. I grabbed it. It's on the uh, back of my front loader. I found a couple of weeds now. There was one there. There was another up the hill behind the farm. And like I said, I found the potato topper. But that's it for now, and I know you guys have been dropping me all kinds of hints and clues, but honestly, I'm kind of trying not to read too much of that particular text, because I want to find this stuff. <laughs> I will eventually crawl all over this map, so. Alright, my tractor is shiny clean. Maybe you should pave your driveway if you expect people to have shiny tires when they get here. Uh huh. Thank you. There's quite a few tip points down here, as you can see. They're just every corner. Now, the one we're interested in is right behind this wall. Are you going to let me in this time? Mister, your wheels are too dirty? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, watch the money go up. There we go. It should be well over the 100k point. Alright. Woohoo! 47.8. Ooh, it's come down a little bit. It was 48.5 the last time I was tipped. Tipped a trailer full. Alright. Nice. Now, we actually have the money to think about buying some cowhounds. So let's go back to the farm and do just that. Now, I don't believe that there's any weird and special method for this. Dairy factory, canning... E no, I don't think so. I don't see anything there that says livestock farm or anything like that. So... Soon we simply use our store tab. Hopefully they won't charge us a thousand dollars a cow to get them home. <laughs> yes, I'm a bitter, bitter little troll. Still seating. 
they must be just about ready to bang into each other, though. Yeah. There's our happy cultivator. Ooh, he's almost done. Wow, good for him. And... Yeah, getting down to a pretty narrow strip there, so... for our sales, so I think we're down to about 3,000 liter of canola from the harvest of two entire fields. So. And yeah, again, sorry about raging about that silly machine being stuck in the barn, and was pointed out to me, and absolutely rightly so. It's not actually the map, it's... Uh, I guess that machine has a huge hitbox around that pipe, like, <laughs> you know, way oversized. In fact, I've noticed there's a few things in these mod packs that seem to have rather oversized hitboxes. Um, I know if I park, see where I've got my front loader right now, if I park closer to that rack, the uh, implements on the rack will start to wiggle. So. I have a feeling there's something on that particular loader that has an overtly large hitbox as well. So, that's done. Let's uh, quickly come up here, and I think what I'm going to do is just pull one of these cedars out of commission before they... Oh, all right. <laughs> I was going to say before they block each other. But um, I'm going to guess that we are sort of past that point and it looks like yeah you sir are not the winner of this particular match <laughs> there you go lovely and with that said how are you doing for seeds all right you got a good start Let's barley up this field as well. Alright. And... How's our little three-wheeler doing? Done. Alright. to your starting position. Na, 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 na. Look at all this nice tall grass. We're going to cut this down for our cows. Well, the silage pit has got a fair chunk of silage in it, of course. Unfortunately, we can't actually buy the mixed feeder until we have, uh, the heck is it, $300,000, I believe, to throw around? is a heck of a lot more than the placeable one. <laughs> I might just point out. Alright, you're probably fine here. And you're going to have enough seeds to get by. So, excellent. Da, 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 da. Now we do have to spray that other field. However, That'll take a moment. Let's wander down to the cow shed and see about some cows. And by then, the cultivator should be done and we can start the other cedar on its way. So lovely. It is coming along. And, uh, yeah, by the way, when I logged in here, I was $100,000 in the hole again. Well, not hundred k in the hole, but... I had had $100,000 deducted. Download the coat in the trailer and the pallets. Alright. I assume they're talking about the coat around a sheep. <laughs> I.e. <eat> wool. <laughs> Alright, anyway. <laughs> that was rather interesting. Let's have a look at our silage pit. Bring up the full one menu. And 16%, not bad. 
Not bad. A day or two and we should have a good pile of silage. So, let's do this thing. We got 122. I think we're going to buy 20 to 25 cows. Let's have a look. So 2,500, so 50k for 20 cows, eh? Yeah, we're gonna buy 25 cows. So, avert your eyes, I do not have the buy a ton of critters mod loaded. So here we go, 17, 20, 3, 4, 5, done. Yoo-hoo, look at all the girls! All right, now, they have some straw, but they're going to need everything else, of course, including we will need something I don't yet have, and that is a water tanker. Now, we can get this guy for 7k, holds 6 liters, or 6,000 liters, sorry. What else have we got? Universal tank. That's pretty expensive, though, even for the small one. Um, anything in here? No. Uh, I think we have one for that little truck. Uh, or not. <laughs> not in there, not in tippers. Hmm, ah, loading wagons, that's right. Okay, we've got this, 8,000 liters. And it will hold three different products, so that's probably the most versatile. Um, we got this, 25,000 liters, so it holds even more products. However, <laughs> as you can see, she is no cheap. More than I want to spend, actually. But I thought I had one that went on the back of the truck. Hmm. Well, I think we'll go with this. Okay. There we go. And, ah. Uh, you're done. So, let's take you out of the way. Whew, not too filthy, are you? <laughs> wow. And let's get back in this guy. Such neat tractors in some of these old packs. There we are. Let's hurry up. Alright, buddy. See you later. I think that cedar kind of fits this map, eh? Alright, and you whew, are done. Let's get you home. So I think I'm going to hop into. Uh, 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 maybe I'll just take this one, but I'm gonna get out and grab that water tanker and uh, Next time around we'll uh, finish tending to the cows and see what comes up next So there you go guys if you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. Oops <laughs> Don't slam your cultivator into the edge of the fence, but uh, yeah, please slam that like button helps me out a bunch I'm just gonna uh, Give these a little scrubby up and uh Feel free to share, favorite, and do all that YouTube-y stuff. Until next time, guys. This has been Species 7 for Farm Sim 15. Here on the Gifts of Caucasus map. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. Oh, don't you clean up so nice. And all these little bits and pieces. How's the cultivator? I think the cultivator just looks this bad. Oh, well,